Okay, everybody, I'm back for more. I've got my Morning with Jesus 2022 and my Jesus bookmark. Anyway, we are in Happy TGI Update. It's Friday, February 4th. I'm six days in, zero pain. Thank you, Jesus. It's from reading my Bible and realizing I could cast those demons out of my body that was inflicting pain upon me, and that's exactly what I did. I did it every dang day until that pain went away. And I do it, but if I start to feel pain, I do it some more because they are on droves right now. And if you think you're sick because of whatever, think again. What do you got to lose? Get them demons out of you. They're everywhere. So Friday, February 4th, he tends his flock like a shepherd. He gathers the lambs in his arms and carries them close to his heart. He gently leads those that have young. Isaiah 40, verse 11. I often see a neighbor taking his little terrier for a run. The man rolls down the road, balanced on a hoverboard. The dog races behind him. That's a, that's a really cute visual, isn't it? When the dog tires, his owner scoops him up and carries him. That's sweet. Well, I can't do that with Miss Hannah. <laughs> She's a little bit bigger than I am. <laughs> no, like a lot bigger, a lot bigger. The animal nestles against the man's chest. He rests there content and secure, able to ride for miles. Watching these two reminds me of Jesus' promise to carry his children. Sometimes the path he leads us on feels long and tiresome. We grow weary and our soul pants for water and rest. Oh, I kind of did that on my, live on my videos yesterday. Right. Might as well wet my whistle while we're at it. I've experienced times like that. I just did yesterday live on video, well, on my recorded video, but anyway. For years, I sweated over my ministry calendar. Well, I didn't. Haven't, haven't got one of those yet, but I'm working on it. I've got one on the schedule every Thursdays now, so. I wanted to be fully available to fulfill God's purposes for me. While being fully available for the needs and celebrations of my immediate and extended family, stress and guilt from trying to do it all sapped my energy, and it did. That's why I was down as long as I was. I finally learned what it means to let Jesus carry me. I asked him to schedule my ministry trips in such a way that would leave me available for my family when they needed me most. Why else would I be going on a road trip? Glenn just paved the way, and he's going to help me pave the way. He's going to help me with it, which I'm thrilled with. To go to Arizona with, for my nephew's wedding for the first time is the best blessing in my life. Because I've been promised to go to Arizona before. And, you know, the people that make promises and don't keep them, well, he's, he's keeping record of it. I'm not. He is. So, just saying. And I've been promised a lot of things. And the follow-through has never been there on the other end. It always has been on mine. And if I physically couldn't do something, that is the only reason why I didn't follow through with something I promised someone. And I always explained it why. I never left them hanging. And if I did, I apologize because that was never my intentions because that's not who I am. He's answered in amazing ways three or four times every year since. No longer do I feel the need to do it all. I don't entertain guilt if I'm overseas when my family needs help. I pray for them and encourage them from a distance, but I also leave the responsibility for their well-being with Jesus, whose promise to carry his children also applies to them. Grace Fox, beautiful writing. This is beautiful. And the face step, that's what I love about this book, in addition to all the messages. Recall a time when you carried a child who relaxed in your arms purpose to the rest to rest the way in Jesus arms well I can't say that I honestly did that with a kid because I was never never once with children until most recently and I really haven't held a baby in my arms yet so I'm gonna guess um, I mean I've done that with my puppies I mean I, I see a puppy and I can't help but I have to hold them so um, I, I think that life has changed so much that it's in, at Trinity I saw it had changed started changing because I saw a baby and it choked me up because I didn't have one of my own. So, never thought I'd, I'd ever feel that way, but I finally have. So I'm in a different place in my life and I finally gotten rid of all the darkness that started when I was in my youth that I couldn't help. I was born into it. So anyway, have a great day. Love you, bye.